Man's word is his wand full of magic and power. Jesus Christ emphasized the power of the word. By your words you shall be justified, and by your words you shall be condemned. And death and life are in the power of the tongue. Thus man has power to change an unhappy condition by waving over it the wand of his word. I said to her, We bless the two dollars, and we know that you have the magic purse of spirit. It can never run out. As money goes out, immediately money comes in under grace in perfect forms. I see it always crammed, crammed with money, yellow bills, green bills, pink checks, blue checks, white checks, gold, silver, and currency. I see it crammed with abundance. I feel my bag heavy with money. So indeed it was a good day. A hundred dollars for a box of candy. She says that every morning she walks into the store in amazement and gives thanks that she had the fearless faith that wins. Affirmations. The decks are now cleared for divine action, and mine comes to me under grace in a magical way. I now let go of worn-out conditions and worn-out things. Divine order is established in my mind, body, and affairs. Behold, I make all things new. My seemingly impossible good now becomes a reality. The unexpected now happens. The four winds of success now blow for me. From the north, the south, the east, and the west comes my endless good. The Christ in me is risen. Now I fulfill my destiny. The endless good now comes to me in endless forms. I clap my cymbals and rejoice, for the Lord goes before me making my way clear, easy, and successful. I give thanks for my whirlwind success. I sweep all before me because I work with spirit and follow the divine plan of my life. My spiritual sporting blood is up. I am more than up to this situation. I am awake to my good, and I reap the harvest of infinite opportunities. I am harmonious, balanced, and magnetic. I now attract my own. My power is the power of God, and is irresistible. Divine order is now established in my mind, body, and affairs. I see clearly and act quickly, and my highest expectations are miraculously fulfilled. There is no competition on the spiritual plane. What is mine by right is given to me under grace. I have within me an undiscovered country, which is now revealed to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Behold, I have set before you the open door of destiny, and none shall shut it, for it is nailed. The tide of destiny has turned, and all comes to me. I banish the past, and now live in the wonderful now, where happy surprises come to me every day. There are no missed opportunities in the divine mind. When one door closes, another opens. I have a magical job in a magical way. I give a magical service for a magical pay. The genie within me is now released. I now fulfill my destiny. I make friends with obstacles, and every obstacle becomes a stepping stone. Everything in the universe, visible and invisible, is working to bring me mine. I give thanks that the walls of Jericho fall and all lack, limitation, and failure are erased from my consciousness in the name of Jesus Christ. I am now on the royal road to success, happiness, and abundance. All traffic is going my way. I shall not grow weary of doing good, for when I least expect it, I shall reap. Jehovah goes before me, and the battle is won. All thoughts of the enemy are blotted out. I am victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. There are no obstacles in the divine mind, Therefore, there is nothing to obstruct my good. All obstacles now disappear from my path. The gates are opened, the doors are lifted, and I enter into the kingdom of fullness under grace. Rhythm, harmony, and balance are now established in my mind, body, and affairs. New fields of divine activity are now open to me, and these fields are white with harvest. The will of man is powerless to interfere with the will of God. God's will is now done in my mind, body, and affairs. God's plan for me is permanent and cannot be moved. I am true to my heavenly vision. The divine plan of my life now takes form in definite and concrete experiences, leading to my heart's desire. I now draw from universal substance with irresistible power and determination, that which is mine by divine right. I do not resist this situation. I place it in the hands of infinite love and wisdom. Let the divine idea now be realized. My good now flows to me in a steady, unbroken, ever-increasing stream of success, happiness, and abundance. There are no missed opportunities in the kingdom. 
When one door closes, another opens. There is nothing to fear because there is no power to harm. I approach the lion in my path and find an angel in armor and victory in the name of Jesus Christ. I am in perfect harmony with the operation of the law. I step aside and let infinite intelligence make my way easy and successful. The ground on which I stand is sacred ground. The ground on which I stand is successful ground. New fields of divine activity are now opening for me. Unexpected doors open. Unexpected channels are released. What God has done for others, He can do for me and more. I am as necessary to God as He is to me, for I am the channel to carry out His plan. I do not limit God by seeing limitations in myself. With God and me, all things are possible. Giving preceded is receiving, and my gifts to others precede God's gifts to me. Every man is a golden link in the chain of my good. My balance is built on a rock. I see clearly and act quickly. God cannot fail, so I cannot fail. The warrior within me has already won. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in me and in my affairs. Prosperity. Man comes into the world funded by God, with everything he desires or requires already in his path. This supply is released through faith and the spoken word. If you can believe, all things are possible. Affirmations. I now draw from the abundance of the spheres my immediate and endless supply. All the channels are free, all the doors are open. I now release the gold mine within me. I am linked with an endless golden stream of prosperity, coming to me under grace in perfect forms. Goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of abundance forever. My God is a God of abundance, and I now receive all that I desire or require and more. All that is mine by divine right is now released and comes to me in great avalanches of abundance, under the grace of miraculous ways. My supply is endless, inexhaustible and immediate, and comes to me under grace in perfect forms. All channels are free, and all gates open for my immediate and endless supply, divinely designed. My ships come over a calm sea, under grace in perfect forms. I give thanks that the millions that are mine by divine right now pour out and crowd under grace in perfect forms. Unexpected doors open, unexpected channels are released, and endless avalanches of abundance pour upon me, under grace in perfect forms. I spend money under direct inspiration wisely and fearlessly, knowing that my supply is endless and immediate. I am not afraid to let money out, knowing that God is my immediate and endless supply. I am now flooded with the happiness that was planned for me in the beginning. My barns are full, my cup runneth over with joy. My endless good now comes to me in endless forms. I have wonderful joy in a wonderful way, and my wonderful joy has come to stay. Happy surprises come to me every day. I gaze in wonder at what is before me. I walk boldly toward the lion in my path and find it to be a friendly Airedale. I am harmonious, happy, radiant, detached from the tyranny of fear. My happiness is built on a rock. It is mine now and for all eternity. My good now flows to me in a steady, unbroken stream of happiness. My happiness is God's business, therefore no one can interfere. As I am one with God, I am now one with my heart's desire. I give thanks for my permanent happiness, my permanent health, my permanent wealth, my permanent love. I am harmonious, happy, and divinely magnetic, and now I draw to me my ships upon a calm sea. God's ideas for me are perfect and permanent. My heart's desire is a perfect idea in the divine mind, incorruptibly and indestructible, and now it comes to pass, under grace, in a magical way.